All right, hello everyone. Um, I had a bad night tonight. I'm just gonna go over the trades uh, and tell you, um, you know, what was going on. So, all right, I'll start with the full size NASDAQ and then I tried to move down to the micro NASDAQ. Uh, let me get to the very start of the night. So, the very start of the night, we started off uh, in profit. Um, I'm going to have to get down to a one minute time frame. Uh, very start of the night. Took two shorts here, covered them here. Of course, I missed out on a big chunk of uh, profit there. As uh, you know, it ended up drawing much lower. As we came in lower, I got long two contracts and on a ICT bullish breaker pattern and then covered up here. So we were in profit there. Uh, after that, it started going downhill. So um, I again tried to get long one contract here on a bullish breaker so not a bullish breaker uh, an order block stop which would be right there and instead of going instead of pushing higher as I thought it would back up to the resettlement gap it ended up ended up plunging now for that trade so I have not optimized my stop losses and I will tell you that Sunday trading has generally been pretty freaking terrible for me. So Sunday and Monday trading has, has been, um, yeah, very difficult for me. So I'm not placing the stops in the, in the correct places. So for example, with this trade, um, you can see that I tried to long as price came above this bullish order block here, um, which obviously was um, you know the wrong idea I basically top top ticked it in the wrong direction so started off the night with a couple wins with the first trade loss um, well so those were wins so this was my first loss um, optimal stop placement Let's see if I can see it on a three minute chart. Right, so I was trying to get long thinking that the market would draw higher. Um, initial stop placement on the first loss. Yeah, probably should have just been right there. That would have mitigated my risk. So 159, that would have been a 10 point loss. So that would have been 200 instead of what it was. Um, so I ended up getting stopped out down here. You could see the sell limits as they came in. Um, so I got stopped out for the first loss. Um, tried again to get long in these three executions here. Okay. We're trying again to get long, thinking that we would come back up into the big SIBI, uh, and that was ended up stopping out break even. Um, a lot of this trading was all break even trading, and then this was a six contract position that ended up taking one off. So you could see that I had long, I was longing it, thinking that we would draw all the way back up at that time. Um, instead, we s turned around like a freaking rock there at, at the midpoint of that SIBI, kind of an ICT bearish breaker. Um, and ended up, I ended up getting stopped out in profit, so that's what you're seeing there. The sell five at 139, I was stopped out in profit on these five longs. I then tried to follow the long idea and get long again, and this is really what killed me. So this, this was the this was the big loss of the night. Um, I was long and then the market did another plunge through sell side liquidity. 
so what was the issue there? Well, first off, Sunday's trading has been very difficult. Um, I was trying to get long there, and I think it was a valid idea. I do think the market is going to end up drawing higher. But number one, um, I ended up missing, right? So this one hour busy, you know, we were drawing to that, and I missed that. But uh, I should have immediately put in a stop right below that low, and that would have mitigated my losses right there. Um, needless to say, I probably should have taken off, right? So look at the executions. I was long like five contracts there and I only took one off in profit and I should have taken them all off. But I thought that we were going to continue drawing higher so I can basically trade out of most drawdown. In fact, I even nearly got started on the micro NASDAQ trading out of a ridiculously low amount of drawdown. But uh, just this plunge right here in the sell side liquidity was, was way not what I expected to happen. Um, and uh, yeah I needed to have a stop in the marketplace um, below that low uh, yeah so that would have been a 10 point loss on a few contracts um, and then the, this price action has been very difficult all the way down here in through here it's been very difficult for me so uh, micro NASDAQ I'll show you the executions um, I was trying to play this mostly long I ended up getting a good short here that I ended up covering down here and down here I thought that the market was about to turn back around south and I'll just be honest I really have been very lost with Sunday's trading so it's been a very difficult um, a very difficult session for me. Um, I think that what I am missing uh, with my trading right now is optimal stop placement. You know, this was really looking like a good low to me. I'm not going to lie. That was looking like a really good low. And that was looking like a very strong pattern, like model 2022 market structure shift. We ended up running some short term liquidity and then it plunged violently back down into the sell side liquidity and so that really caught me off guard um, and that being said I should have had a stop in the marketplace for all my contracts right below that low uh, because number one I know that it's Sunday and so it, the trading is going to be difficult and then you have to have a stop in the marketplace so I can trade out of most drawdown, and if I need to go to the micro NASDAQ, because uh, I need to lower the risk, I can go to the micro NASDAQ. So, that being said, um, this was my big losing trade. I was trying to scale into longs here, and the market ended up plunging further into sell side liquidity that I was not expecting. Uh, I was not expecting it, although in hindsight, we were drawing to that one hour busy. So, um, we're still more uh, we're almost halfway there on the account um, we'll see if we can hit a profit limit tomorrow Tuesday uh, I will be out for Monday's trading um, we're going to get back started slowly uh, Tuesday one contract at a time I'm probably going to do more uh, execution reviews for ICT's trades um, in terms of my own trading, it's you know you can't see it if it's if it's not on the one minute. Um, it's too many executions. I was not expecting this. I really wasn't, and it caught me off guard. And Michael does say that Sunday's trading is like very difficult, and it is. This has been a very difficult price action for me. So, yep. Um, You know, looking at the five minute, this has just been very illiquid, very difficult. Uh, there, I should have had a stop right there. Um, 
and uh, optimal stop placement has been not my strong suit okay so anyways didn't have this didn't have a stop in the marketplace where I should have and the market behaved unexpectedly to me at the time and now you know looking in review there was that busy down here 30 minute busy that price drew to but I didn't see it so all right the stop placement is what I have to work on um, where the stop needs to go because uh, these illiquid pushes down they can happen really at any time all right that's gonna be it I'll be back for Tuesday's trading bye